first thing. Okay. All right. Ah, well, I'm in Long Island, right? What's the city? Nassau County, Valley Stream. Valley Stream. Valley Stream, Long Island. Okay. And this is a torch down roof. You can see it's a torch down every three feet. You have a seam. And you can tell when a roof is done very, very good is that they've oozed. This is oozed out. You see the oozing? Oozing out of the seams. That shows that the guy who did the torch down did an extremely, extremely good job. Hey, Patrick, how old is this roof? Do you know? This roof is about 15 years old. 15 years old, okay. And at 15 years old, you can tell the roof is in very good shape. It shows you how long this roof can last, but they have a leak, okay? That's why we're here. So I'm gonna show you a few things, what to look for. Sweetheart, can I have that trowel? Pichara? Okay, so here's water ponding here. Water ponding on this area where the skylight is. And they put tar down, and look, the tar. You wanna take the video, sweetheart? Yeah, sure, no problem. Thank you. Uh-huh. Look. Look. I can feel the tar up. Look. So the water you see is wet underneath there. The tar did not stick to this uh to the membrane. The tar just came up. So this is really, really a bad sign when people just put tar and they did not use the right tar. This is the cheap tar, Henry from Home Depot. And that's where we get start the problem. No problem. Somebody taught, put new tar down, but the same problem will come later on. That's new tar. You need a trowel like this. Look. Try to lift the seam up. You cannot lift the seam up. Look, the seam is very good. So it's not the seam. The seams are very good. <clears throat> Let's take the seam. Ah, there you go. See that? Water is leaking down, and this is a seam that went bad because it was not done very right, very well. You can see it's not welded properly. Okay. First thing is to clean to get the water off. And we're gonna do the flashing around these skylights. The skylight there. See the tar? And they put it over wet. Let me show you. Look at it, it's wet. This is this is fresh tar about a month uh, before the winter. But you can see it's wet there. And look, this was leaky right here. That's why they put tar down. So you cannot. You cannot put tar down and think you're going to solve the leak if it's, if it's not well prepared. Even if you're going to do tar, you need to prepare very, very well. All right? So we're going to redo the flashing. I'm going to do, redo the seam here. And then this roof should be okay for the next 30 years. These roofs don't go bad. Bees, man. Look at make me work. Look at look at what I do. <laughs> you have to prepare first the area. After that is easy. This See? is the hardest part. See? See? No good. Very heavy. Look at my hands. And Ooh, look at my hands. Look at oh, look at. I'm working. <laughs> For that, give me thumbs up and subscribe and like it. Comment. <laughs> Aquí viviendo el sueño americano. He's dreaming that. that Mexican dream. That, Mexican dream. <laughs> it's wet there, see that? It's wet. Better dry it up. Now you can wait a day or two if you want to sit uh, dry with the sun, but I don't have time for that. So I, so I use a trowel like this to try to get it underneath the seam. If you can poke it up like here. No, it's okay. But you see there, we took it up. Okay. Yeah. 
very nice and I never believe there's a leak here. I know it's a leak in, inside the, the building, but see how very nice and people put more tar or whatever. See, it's tar, but and we think oh, it's nice. But the important thing here, always, always, it happened to me when I was learning. I said, no, it's not a problem. This is not a real problem. When you start looking, it's nice sticking to the, to the membrane, and that's what's wet here, the water. So the water go through here, and they go to um, inside the building. So this is very important preparation, OK? And no, 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 it's the, no, no, se hizo, no, se hizo stick. no, 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 Mira, es easy. Mira. Look, it doesn't stick. Mira, no, no pego. Nomás esta, nomás pusieron the más. The tar didn't stick at all. I use Stivo Poly Seal. That's my go-to product for every repair. And then, what you do is you cut tabs like this. You cut tabs, see? You cut tabs like that. Just halfway, the two-inch fleece. So, maybe a little bit more than halfway. I paint. There's turbo poly seal all the way around. Let me show you. Just like that. This is much better than tar. Tar doesn't stick as well as turbo poly seal. Turbo poly seal is more liquid and it will stick to the asphalt. Okay, so now, around Skyline. And then you take your double poly seal again, and you put a coating over that. Beautiful, nice and smooth, beautiful, okay? So that's how you fix a flat roof leak, which is really the skylight. Star remover, okay? Look at my hands, it's completely black. It's a star remover. Very good, look at it. This is very fresh and flat, it's thicky and ugly, okay? Put the roof, I don't, I don't have water, okay? And this is, I mean, they clean really well. If I, uh, I keep a rubber in my hands, but look at, see my had the different. I was did it fast for you guys, but this is very, very, very good, very good. See.